Okay, everyone, welcome back. This is Scenario 22B, The Dark Hive. Elinia, what you are saying is simply preposterous. How could I possibly serve as a substitute for Argan's powers? Unless... As we descend deeper into this fortress, we get ever closer to Inferno and to the source of their power. You are one of the most powerful dark sorcerers ever born from Ertia. My hope is that together we might be able to tap into the darkness of the demon's homeland, possibly at the risk of our own lives. It's either that, or allow the demoness to erase you and me from existence. I am not sure if I even want to do this anymore. I am no hero. I should kill you and take the prize to hell with me. Actually, I guess that's exactly where we are headed, so... You did many things in the past, most of them crimes against people and life. But now, at the end of all things, you guided Galas and his loyal followers to the depths of Erdia, awoke me from my long slumber, and fought the hordes of chaos alongside us all the while. Redeeming yourself will take much more than this, but I can assure you that turning your back on us now will only result in your destruction at the hands of Uriah's servants. Would you prefer that fate over fighting a just cause one final time? No answer there from Elkeshar. Okay, and once again the objective is just keep going. <laughs> Proceed deeper underground with Galasalinia or Elkeshar. We've got 72 turns, so this is going to be a long one. Buckle up. Probably three parts. And let's see how it goes. No early finish bonus, 100% of gold carried over. Nothing exciting there. Okay, ooh, weird sounds. Weird underground sounds. So, we've got a decent-ish army here. We've got um, the all of the loyal and compulsory units are still around. We've got Igor, we've got Erethan, we've got uh, Ledinor, and I still think it's... Yeah, Ledinor can't die, so still worth trying to get him a bit more leveled up. Um, so, and then we've got, uh, of the units we recalled, we've got Lethrodae the Forest Spirit, we've got Dotea the Elvish Prowler, and we've got Sothinia the Shide who survived from Scenario 2 onwards, and is still with us, with a couple of maximum level advancements, and a ton of health. Resilient and intelligent, it's a nice trait. Those are our three elves, or at least actually two elves, one of them's a Forest Spirit. And on the undead side, all we've got left is three spectres. But those three spectres are mega tanky, especially Blady, who has done the prior... Uh, previously unthinkable and, and managed to get, I think, four after maximum level advancements. And so, let us proceed and see what we see. Well, I guess we're going to be fighting some drones. That seems to be the way of things. Really good to have Igor in this scenario, because Igor can see further than almost anyone else on most terrains. So... Push forward. Is there anything back there? What about down here? Okay, so there's a river down here. Can we get across? Yes, we can. We could try and continue over this way. Can't see any anything interesting over there. So I suspect the correct play is mostly just to ignore what's over here. Although, south does not seem promising at all. I'm going to send the spectres south, and everyone else can maybe keep going to the east. So the forest spirit is quite fast down here because she doesn't suffer from the terrain slowing effects. The slowest people now are going to be Ledinor and Detea, and we can't get rid of uh, Ledinor because 
he's a uh, hero he has to survive pa to the dark gods with you and your stupid and pretentious motivations i will help but only because i'm curious to see if i can really harness this legendary power i can't possibly refuse the offer of unlimited power after all these eons i knew you would listen to reason malin how can your people hand your lives to this lich Sorry, that was that was far too Scottish. How can your people hand your lives to this lich on a silver platter like that? It defies all logic. Just like this mission, then. What the? Worms, worms everywhere. Okay, so there is something down here, and uh, it's sending nasty units after me. Here we just got worms. They are not scary. Not even a little bit. Down it goes. Okay, there are some there are some more powerful drones back here, so we'll have to be careful. We've got a sentry here. Still not sure which way is the right way to go, whether I should keep exploring both. Is there anything back? Okay, there's a worm over here. Not worried about the worm. But, ah, okay. So, oh, there's a worm in the water and they can ambush you if they're there. Okay. And there's a Razorman and an invader. Well, I think, I mean, it seems like going this way is more trouble than it's worth if I can get to the same result by going across this water down here. But I can't get there. I can't get there with anyone other than flying troops. So I'll send the flying troops down, see what happens. And meanwhile... Uh, well, submerging undead can get down here. And Galas actually can... Oh, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Life is hard. Now the reason I can't get there is because... I'm being stupid here, uh, it's because I can't get past this worm. Yeah, I can get down there. Alright, okay. So then it's now, it's now definitively not worth heading over to the right, I think, if I can get through to the south. I'm going to focus on going south. I would dearly love to have some more drainable troops here. One of the pieces of advice in the walkthrough for this campaign that I think is a bit beside the point is always keep a necromancer around to create corpses. Now necromancers are great for other reasons, they're tanky as hell. But Okay, so already another drone has 
and I'm not even sure what the what the principle behind this is. Another drone has already spawned over here. Uh, we have to be careful. Malkashar can reach this water serpent. You can reach this drone and uh Okay, you step back, you step forward. Might actually be your, more useful, I think. What's the... yeah, it's only 50% to hit the serpent in that water, so... I think it'd be more useful for you to take the bat out. And then the spectre can deal, or try and deal with the serpent. Alright. Fatality. Okay, down here we've got a drone. Oh crap, we've got lots of drones. And no real point fighting them, I think. I ought to just try and run past. So let's get my slow units into position. So over here there is there are some Chaos Invaders and Razormen. snuffly today. I think it must be the hay fever. Okay. Keep heading south. The worms keep moving around. This is mostly for creepy background effect rather than any real purpose, I think. Oops, sorry. Nose blown. And now we can keep going to the south. And Malkesha ought to easily be able to deal with these guys. sure whether I should go in first with some spectres to try and soften up a bit, but I have, actually have a feeling the spectres will be more use over here. Okay, guys. What? what? There's nothing down here? Yep, okay, no, that's a dead end. Alright. I'm gonna go the other way. You get into position to heal Malkesha. And everyone else can come over here. Uh, now Malkesha is in quite a bad position here. Because he's in the water, he is, he's got enemy troops on him. You go around the back, it might be useful to have someone around there in a bit. In the meantime... quite get to any healing. Should you just fight here? I guess you probably should. Ah, uh, 
not great. You just come around here. Okay. Okay, so the big man's come out. Um, oh, it's not my turn yet, no, actually. Oh, don't kill it. No, he didn't kill it, quite. That's a good thing, because uh, otherwise he'd be dead. The other one could come out here. Okay, you head back. You stay where you are and kill this one. Galas, you head this way too. And Malkishar, you open up on this Razor Man. Four hits should make him almost dead. Two hits, on the other hand, is virtually useless. Let's just hope you survive this one, then. And the Spectres can continue around the side. I'm going to park you there so that you can heal the Spectre, because that Spectre's going to take a while to heal up. Marathon move forward. You guys all move forward. Alright. Okay, I've been a little lucky in the damage that Malkashar has uh, taken and dished out here. The worms move past in the background. Oh! Now I thought I was going to be able to clean this up over here with the spectres around here, but um, unless I get lucky with this spectre... Nah, it's not going to happen. So I just need to use Malkeshar to take out the Razor Man, and then the Chaos Invader will probably suicide himself. Oh, mobility is restricted here. Alright, now that one's dead. On this side, I can move Galas up a bit. I can move this Spectre up a bit. Move her out. So then these guys, this these drones can fly out and attack Malkashar. And the Rayblades, I mean, they can submerge, but they're going to move slowly through the water. These whole scenarios are very unnerving because you're basically trying to keep everyone alive and none of the individual enemies are that powerful most of the time. But on the other hand, you know, if you lose people down here, they're gone for good. So you've really got to be very careful with how you play it. All right, I'm going to try and force feed Ledinor some health. Um, how best to do this? Is there anything back here? Well, there won't be anything other than... I'll need to leave you in case Ledinor fails. No, you go back, you go back, you come forward. Zap, zap, zap. Alright, you're halfway towards a level. Explore with Igor. Alright! A random room full of drones, yeah, cool. Cool, very cool. Um, including two of the rather fast sentry drone type. Hmm.
and we've got a, a Zephyr coming up on this side. We need to move the slow pokes forward. Unfortunately, everyone is in, in the position where they can move at exactly the same speed now. Don't mind having you at the back, because you can slow at least. Well, Keshar is currently in a position where he can only, he's only, he'll only, he's only got 10% def 10 defense, I think. Is this, is this deep water where he is now? How do you even find that out? No, 20%, okay. Well, it could be worse, but he's still going to have four drones crawling up his backside if he stands there. So that's not good. But one of them could attack Sothenia. Nothing much I can do about that. I'm gonna just take this as it as it is. Not gonna put Igor in range of the Zephyr, that would be pointless. I'm just gonna leave am I gonna leave you here? Okay, so one of the drones, one of the sentry drones, the furthest one towards the front, could now come out and attack this spectre. And that's actually okay, because that would be a nice way for me to deal with these folks. Alright, the worms are moving. Going for the reduced Melka shard to minimum health strat. Poison Erethan. Alright, it's going to take Melka shard a while to heal up from that. Good thing I've got Spectres down here. Oh, there's more, there's more of them. Oh god, oh god. Okay, that I think should be another kill that I can get with Ledinor. Good. It would be nice if you could be level 3 by the time we end this segment of the dungeon. Alright, Malkesha, you ought to run. If I can get you here... Erethon there, Malkeshar over here, in the middle. Galas can push right forward, and Galas, I think, um, Galas can take on this Zephyr over here. Can't see if there's anything else back here. It would be nice to see which the actual correct path to take is. Alright, you need help. I'll just use you to finish off this drone, I hope. When everyone else press forward, we can get across the water. You're going to come out and attack Slashy next time round. Don't know what's going to happen over here. I guess I could scout a bit. Um, Igor hasn't moved yet. Okay, there are more enemies back there. It looks like then that, that is the correct direction to move in. What about over here? Can't see any more than the Spectre can down there, so you just sit tight in that position. Um, you can come a little bit forward, and then we're good to go. Ten damage? Oh, it's dexterous. Deal 30 damage to my... 
very often ends up being the case that my heroes get really, really beaten up in these levels. And you come out too. Okay, gonna use a linear on this one. Uh, or am I? <laughs> That's a lot of damage. I could use the slow attack instead. We have to get there in the end. Now, Galas can basically eat this guy. It yeah, ends up on slightly higher health. So then I can just about let Ledinor get the kill. Good, and you're very close to that level now. Over here I know there's a Longbowman, that's not a problem. I can sit Erethan on this house. Down here though, I'm going to move you back and move you forward. Four out of five hits, come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and I can move you a little bit forward to get more visibility. All I can see is this longbowman. Can do they they don't have fire attacks, they just have a quite a nasty pierce attack, so. And it doesn't look like there's anyone else back here. I don't really want to go down there. I suspect down there is just going to be uh, death and destruction. So I'm going to put my Shide here where she can also heal Galas. You move round. You move round. I can even get you into a position where you will aggro the Longbowman. Oh, but there's a flipping drone here too. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, gonna take a lot of range damage on Deathy now, and that's my weakest spectre. Everyone else heal up. And Igor, stay where you are, because I might need you for damage dealing purposes next turn. Alright, that wasn't super effective, as they would say in Pokemon. Alright, I need to dish out some beatdown on uh, Mr. Hits with all his attacks over here. First of all, though... Get, try to get this longbowman out of the picture, or mostly out of the picture. Uh, not great, but it's slowed, so that's something. I'll take it. Erethan, do you want to go in? Um, you could die. Yeah. Okay, now Deathy, you ought to be a good bet over here. Because you can drain him. And this ought to give you more health than you lose. Only just, though. A um, little bit unlucky there. And I'm going to hope now that you're slowed, you'll. Yeah, you'll, you won't do much damage here. What you will try and do, I suspect. Um, is Poison Galas. And while that will be annoying, it's not the end of the world. You sit there and, and gain some health. And um, the drones haven't respawned yet. Erethan, you also ought to stay. I think where you are. Maybe not. Maybe 
In fact, I'm going to move you... No, I'm going to leave you where you are, just for one more turn. Leave you where you are as well, as a rear guard. Huh. No poison. No poison for you. However, what's annoying is that this path is curving back round. Um, so it could be that this is actually not the right way to go and that I actually need to go down this very, very narrow hole. I hope not. Galas, you know what to do. Alright. There's gonna be more drones up here. And oh look, there's a Chaos Magus. And there is a is a sentry drone. Now what I don't want is for the Magus to attack my Spectres. So I need to get someone who is okay with being attacked by a Spectre. And that would be Alinea. So is gonna hold the fort up front while everyone else comes along and gets healed. Can't quite reach. You go to the mushrooms. You step up behind, and you just step back because the sentry drone can perfectly happily attack a linear if it wants to. And you get your final dose of health. Actually, I'm just going to move you forward. You can have the final dose of health in a second or two. Uh, Eleven turns gone. 61 remain. What? Oh yeah, stupid worms. Two of them! Well, at least the advantage of having them suicide on a linear is that, well, they do in fact die. This one is still alive, and I can feed it to Ledinor, who now only needs one more kill to go up a level. And now, given how I know these scenarios work, I should move forward. I'm going to perhaps inadvisably... Ooh, no. Okay, there are more drones back here. That's okay, I guess. Um, again, I just need to... I'm, I'm not going to rush in there with Alinea, which is what I was going to do. Um, but I'm just going to move Alinea to where Igor is now. And that means that, in principle, two of the drones, plus the Magus, can attack me here. But she is good against arcane damage. It doesn't look like she is. It says minus 10%, but I know <laughs> that she's actually much better than that. Okay. Arathon, once more, you can't quite get into healing range. So you just move as fast as you can. Same with you. Is there anything else up here? I guess maybe I could have got round here. It probably would have been quicker than um, faffing around in all this water. I'm not choosing the most efficient of efficient paths here. All right, let's see what happens now. Maybe just hop Q1 up to the north. 
I know we see an enemy, but it's just a worm. Yeah, I could have got through this incredibly narrow gap. Probably gone around this way too, if I'd wanted. Good. Oh, you're going to park yourself there, are you, worm? Flipping 14 damage impact attack. Oh, and a drone's just spawned <laughs> right in my face. Lovely. Okay, let's see if Ledinor can take out this one. Yes, alright. So now you only need an, a level 1 kill. My heroes are all looking quite damaged. All apart from Galas, who's actually okay. I ought to be able to take out these other enemies without heroes. So... Ah oh, yes, Aerith and the Mighty Marksman. Alright, press on, especially my slow units, press on. I need to get to a good healing spot with my heroes and I can take out these other units with... I think these two spectres ought to do a decent enough job here. Ah, lovely. And I can progress down here. There are going to be more drones. There's one more drone there. When I'm not too fussed, I can let the drone take itself out on a spectre, maybe. And now we've got an ant. Oh, and ooh, there's a marauder up there. That's weird. <laughs> I guess, why would you ever go up there? There's probably some special secret, but in this particular level, I am not interested in special secrets. Ow, again that hurt far too much. Hmm. Um, do I want you to be... No, I need a linear to be healed, which means that... And now Ledinor, by virtue of getting that kill, is going to be way behind. It's alright, it's fine. My heroes are healing. And you, wow, okay, you guys, you guys do respawn fast. And I am going to need to stop you, because otherwise Ledinor is going to get attacked. Maybe that's not the worst thing in the world, though. Okay, here it looks like... I've got ants. I've got a runner drone. Nothing else too terrifying. I can put Galas on there and the ants will attack him. question now is who to use to take out this drone. I wish I could use Erethan for it, but he's just a bit too far away. So is the, the Prowler. 
and they should really be moving forward. So I'm going to move them forward. And I'm going to allow Ledinor to get himself attacked at the back here by this assault drone. This spectre, my toughest... Oh no, not my toughest. Okay, you did the job. You come down here and get healed. Can I get this runner drone out? Is it worth it? Should I go back and get healing instead? I'll go back and get healing instead. You'll be on full health if I do that. Alright. The worms move around. And the ants come for Galas. Ineffectually. And good, that's ten more points of health on both my heroes. I uh, I know enough now about these scenarios to, to be... to have some trepidation when it comes to ominous gates. Oh, that was just feeble. All right. Come on then, Ledinor, you can do it. Yeah! All right. You're a high lord, just like Kalens before you. I don't remember Kalens. Ah, he was a he was a he was a dude. Uh, in case you're not aware of what I'm talking about, Kalens was a high lord in the original campaign, uh, heir to the throne, which uh, most people will have played if they've played any Wesnoth at all. That's like the intro tutorial campaign. Oh, okay. Okay. Boom, and there are some more drones. Nice. You can't reach anyone. But you will be able to if I move the spectre down there. Alright, there's a few. If I put you here, two of them will be able to reach you. That's okay. A bit worried about these ones over here, a bit more worried about these ones over here. Do not want to go too far in the wrong direction. You go back and get some healing, Galas. You can come forward and take up that spot. Lady. And you now are on full health. There you go. So, can those guys reach you from that distance? We'll see, I guess. I'll just. We will find out. Or maybe we won't, because I'll just put Lady a little bit further forward. Okay, let's get the healing. Worms move. And the drones come in. Flipping the shots fell, hitting, hitting with all their attacks. Alright, you guys move on because I do not want you to get to aggro any more drones up here behind you kind of feel like when I go through this door something big and bad is going to happen, so I'm not going to go through there just yet. Good kill, good kill. Oh, 
the drone bites the dust. Ah, annoyingly, Malkashar now is out of range of the healers. The Lady the Spectre is going to eat the tree. That takes him almost up to full health. Who do I want to take this fight? You can take it from this side. Now, if you you ought to be able to get the kill here. But instead, you don't get a single hit. Well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. You're not going to get killed by ranged attacks from this drone, are you? I certainly hope not. I'm not going to open this door until I'm good and ready. Okay. Okay, we've got some good healing action going on here. I'm just going to move everyone up in front of this door and not open it straight away. Because I want everyone to be in position for whatever happens. Ledinor is being slow, that's fine. You move up and get some health, and I think everyone ought to be able to heal this turn. Alright, Gallus is on full health, Elenia is on mostly full health, Malkeshar is not doing too badly on 78. Um. Yeah. Okay, open the door. Despite every obstacle placed just for you, you still believe you can continue and kill the Chaos Emperor in his own lair. I sorely underestimated your foolishness. Elinia, are we close enough to Inferno already? There is absolutely no way we will be able to advance with her in our way. We can try. But while we focus, you will need to protect us from the Warlord's forces. You heard her. Protect them at all costs. Very well, Anidia. Let us hope that your theory is correct and will not result in our destruction. I hope so as well. Okay, so now our objective is to protect Alinea and Malkashar from harm for three turns. Uh, we've got enemy bosses, we've got drones coming at us. Um, yeah, I mean, the works, really. Now, it seems like there's no point opening this gate just yet. Or maybe it will be useful to lure them out. Um, but since Elinia and Malkashar are two of my best units for taking out drones, I do kind of want them to stay safe. And, hmm, all right. Eagle, you're going to be useless for this, so you just go away to one side. We should avoid those dark and windy passages. With such evil creatures lurking around, we could get cornered and trapped. Now, I know that there are going to be more drones spawning in these areas. That is how this map works. And well, there's one already. So, Alinea and Malkishar have to stay exactly where they are now for three turns. 
Well, at least that means they will heal a little bit, and Alinea will heal those around her, I think. So I can put Sathinia down here to heal these folks. Move the spectres into... So if, if anyone comes and spawns down here, they will be protected. You stay where you are and get a buttload of health. Gallus, you come towards the front. Ledinor, you come towards the front. Not quite fast, but not too bad. And you just hop one down so that you can get the health from Sothinia. And we'll let these drones do their worst. Yeah, I'm not going to open this door because Erethan's only got 60 hit points. And uh, if he gets ranged attacked, they could easily kill him. Okay, so the Chaos Warlord is summoning weak drones. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And Erethan just flub flubs it completely with this attack. Everyone here should end up on full health after three turns are over. You slow. Or not. Erethan, you move backwards. Fairy fire is not clearly the attack to be used. Um, that's even worse. Why is everyone so rubbish against this guy all of a sudden? Um, Galas, you do it. Yeah, alright. Could be worse. Letting all get into position. You stay where you are, you stay where you are, you all stay where you are. Hissing sounds as the drones move into position. Kill! No, no. Okay, so... Should I open up this door now that Galas is here? I was going to. <laughs> but now that I just took this... Now that this giant guy just completely failed... Um, I'm going to leave it another turn. Alright, Malkishar's on full health, Alinea will be there next turn, Erethan will be there next turn. Oh, there's a drone coming up from behind, that's uh, annoying. I need to protect these guys from harm. So that little spawn there is a tricksy little one. So, okay, I'm going to move you... What about here? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I think this is... I think we are safe. Not too much looking forward to Detea getting wailed on by a drone. Oh, they're going for Galas instead. The worm comes out. Another worm. go. How can this be? That power. The union. It worked. Malin, it worked. Yes. Yes. Tremble before us, pathetic worms, and prepare to meet your gods. Okay. Objective now is to use the union to take down the Chaos Warlords. And with drones behind us, drones in front of us, Chaos Warlord, that's where we're going to take our break. Lovely moment there. Thank you, everyone. And see you next time.